This was my first Bitcoin wallet. It can teach us a lot about how Bitcoin wallets work, how they transact, how to store Bitcoin, but it also provides us a good warning about Bitcoin wallets. My name is Darren and this is a ballet wallet review, the lessons we can learn from it and how I sleep a lot better at night knowing I do not have any Bitcoin in here. The ballet wallet is marketed as a cold storage Bitcoin solution. So all Bitcoin must live on an address somewhere. Along with this public address the Bitcoin is stored on comes with a private key that allows you to send your Bitcoin. This private key is a randomized 78 digit number that is unique to whomever is holding it. The public key and private key are paired together to allow you to spend or send your Bitcoin. A hot wallet storage solution is a wallet that is connected to a online device 24 seven, whether that's your computer, your phone, it's always connected to the internet for somebody to possibly jump on, hack your device, screen record you, somehow get in there where a cold storage solution is a solution where your private key is always stored offline. So the only way to physically get into your wallet, take your private key would be to come to you physically to take it. So at first glance, the ballet wallet is a pretty slick wallet. It's metal, it's a familiar shape in a credit card. It's available on Amazon for $35. It's got your Bitcoin address right on the front of your card. You can etch your name into the back of the card. It has easy to follow instructions that come on the box. And that's why I picked it up. It was my first Bitcoin wallet. I thought I should probably get my funds off of, I think it was Coin Square at the time. So along came a guy named Bobby Lee that would show me the wonders of his card that he created. He's an OG Bitcoiner who has started exchanges in the past, who made physical Bitcoins, and is the guy behind Litecoin. But more on him in a minute. In order to use this card, you need to use a wallet software to import the private public key. But this card was, comes with a suggestion to use their own app. And to be honest, the app is very smooth, easy to use. It reminds me of almost an easier to use blue wallet. So to get started, you're gonna scratch off the passphrase of this wallet. You then scan the QR code to import the wallet. Now this shows you the public address or balance of your wallet that should match this public address on your physical card. You can either send money to that public address on the app or send it directly to your physical card. Now to send Bitcoin off of your ballet card, you need to put in your wallet passphrase first, the amount you're going to send, and you then have to sign your transaction. Now, in order to sign a transaction, you need what is called a private key. Now, your private key is printed on a sticker behind your public key on the card. You literally have to peel back the sticker, scan your public key in order to send a transaction. Once that's completed, you see all the details of your transaction. Now this wallet, you can also store other coins and NFTs, and obviously that includes Litecoin because you know Bobby Lee is the creator of this card. Now overall, it's a pretty easy, smooth process to store Bitcoin, send Bitcoin. Now let's get into the reasons why I do not recommend this thing, and there is a lot of lessons to be learned from something like this. Now, if you've never read the historic Bitcoin article, Everyone is a Scammer by Michael Goldstein in 2014, I think it is a must read. It essentially means in one way or the other, everybody is out to get more Bitcoins or take your Bitcoin. So in this case specifically, there is a failure in the design or the supply chain of it or going as far as this is a giant rug pull to eventually run away with all the Bitcoins that have been deposited in Ballet's products. Now I'm not saying Bobby Lee or the company in any way has intention to do this or not. The problem is they have the ability to do so. So the private key that is printed and stuck onto your card when you receive it has been printed and pasted on by them. So this means number one, you have to trust that they're not keeping this private key around in any of their computers and any of their offices. Number two, you have to trust that the person who printed it wasn't taking pictures of it, didn't save a copy of it, didn't let other eyes on it. Number three, somebody in your house, you know, hasn't taken your private key, looked at it, copied it, scanned it. Or four, a mailman, Amazon employee, warehouse shipper, hasn't done the same. This is because if they all have access to that private key, they have access to move the funds in that wallet. 
And by the time you find out, it's going to be too late and you cannot get it back. Now, a quality Bitcoin wallet would be an open source wallet in which you can see how your private key was generated or a wallet that allows you to generate your own private public key pair, ensuring no one on the supply chain has saved, looked at, recorded your private key. Now, Bobby Lee and Ballet Wallet say that they make their private public key pairs in private factories in different countries. So in order to save the public key and private key pair, they would need to collude between offices and factories in order to do so. Bobby Lee himself says he's a public figure. He's not dumb. He knows that this is a possibility and he burns the private key pair. At least that's what he says. For the record, I've never had any of my funds stolen when I had it on here. I've never heard of anybody else's funds being stolen in this way. But essentially all it is is a paper wallet that's been mailed to you with a private public key already created for you with a good design, marketing, and a great wallet app behind it. So the negatives of a cold storage paper wallet, it is easy for someone along that supply chain of creating this wallet to save your private key. And it is easy to physically take. If somebody took this with Bitcoin on this address, um, they would be able to use it right away. It's just a good lesson. Just don't judge a book by its cover and think, oh, this is so great, you know, and deposit all your money in something right away without doing any due diligence in it. I hope this gave you some good information on how Bitcoin wallets work, how to choose a good wallet in the future. I have more videos on Bitcoin wallets, how to buy Bitcoin. So if you're interested, go check those out on my channel. If you have any questions about this wallet specifically or other wallets out there, leave a comment or let me know what I got wrong or what you think about this and uh, be happy to answer any questions you got. And thanks for watching.